Introduction to Access Control Access Control is the combination of hardware and software that controls access to entry points of a secure structure or property. It can be used for commercial or residential applications. The purpose of these products is to manage and grant access for individuals to specific areas on a predetermined schedule. An example of access control is the automated gate in front of a residential community. Usually, they'll have one side for residents and one side for guests. The resident side may open automatically when a system detects a special sticker or access card inside the vehicle. That's called a proximity reader. On the guest side, you may have a keypad in which you need to enter a code that will either open the gate or dial the homeowner to have them send a code to the gate. Another example would be when you enter a high security facility where employees have special access cards to enter specific areas. Access control can be broken down into five main components. Number one, access control panels, the brains. Two, the readers. Three, the device being detected. Four, the entry and exit hardware. And five, the software. Part one, access control panels. Access control panels are essentially the brains of the system. Usually, the panel is made up of a circuit board inside an enclosed box along with a power supply. Sometimes there is a battery backup as well. The number of access points or doors you can control depends on the capabilities of the specific access control board you use. Many come as a standard configuration, but can be upgraded as your needs change. For example, you might buy a four-door access control board that can be upgraded to control up to eight doors at a later time. Part 2. Access Control Readers These readers can detect a person who has a compatible device on them, such as an access card or key fob. Depending on the equipment, it can detect devices at varying distances. In some cases, the user may have to physically swipe a card. In other cases, it may be able to detect them at a distance. Unlike proximity readers, keypads require the user to type an access code directly into the unit. Fingerprint and Facial Recognition Readers Also known as biometric readers, these can recognize a user's fingerprint to determine appropriate access for that person. ID Tech's patented technology actually maps specific points of the user's finger for greater accuracy and security. Long range readers. These types of readers are typically used for outdoor applications such as vehicle access. They are capable of detecting a long range access card at much further distances than proximity readers. Access control standalone readers. Many readers are required to be connected to an access control board to utilize software in order to function. Standalone readers are just that. Hardware, software, and controller all in one unit. Many readers also come in a vandal-proof version. Vandal-proof models are resistant to vandalism and are usually weatherproof. Time management. Many companies also use their access control system as an employee time clock or payroll management system. It can record when the employee clocks in or out. Advanced features are available with additional time management software. Part 3. Access control cards, smart cards, and long distance cards. Most commonly used as a detection device is the access control card. Access control cards come in many forms. All of them hold information about the user and their access rights. They communicate with the reader through an RF frequency. The range that the cards can communicate and the amount of information that they can hold depend on the card specifications. Smart cards are similar, but also hold extra information about the user, such as medical info, or can even be used as an employee debit card. Fobs are basically the same as access cards, but can be used as a keychain. Some even have LED lights and sounds that alert the user if they've been granted or denied access. An alternative to access cards are key fobs. Stickers can be put on the back of a phone or any other object someone carries around most of the time. Part 4. Entry and Exit Hardware Once the user has been granted access, it must send a signal to the door to unlock it. In this case, the door must have special equipment that works with the access control system. The two most common mechanisms are electric door strikes and mag locks. Electric door strikes. These will replace your existing door strikes. They are electric powered and will automatically unlock when the user is granted access. Magnetic locks. Mag locks are electric powered magnets that will hold the door closed until the system sends a signal to unlock the door. Exit buttons and bars usually go on the other side of a door and allow a user to request to exit from a secured area. There are a variety of exit buttons and bars. Some are simple electric powered buttons, and some are pneumatic. Pneumatic buttons do not rely on power, so an exit is possible even when power isn't available. There are also exit buttons with a delay for more secure areas, where the user must wait a few seconds before an exit is possible. Part 5. Access Control Software Although many access control systems come with integrated software, 
Some may require additional software to run more advanced features. The software is where you will manage users, users' rights, schedules, and more. Many systems also have add-on software such as time and attendance, visitor management, and video management.